light stands. They take up so much space. And then when you want your light mounted really close to the wall or in a tight space, 11 inches. So the question is, how can we get our lights where we need them? In tight spaces, up against the wall, or in really weird scenarios? And that's where these come in. So this right here is a Mathalini, or Cardellini, or a Vice Grip. There's a bunch of different names, and mainly the differences is just in the name because of the brand which you buy it from. Now, if you're curious which company is better or which one you should be buying from, I'm going to put that all down in the description along with the links. If you use those to make a purchase, it helps support the channel. So thanks for doing that. There are two types of these Vice Grips. There is the end jaw and then there's the center jaw. The jaw refers to the part that grips down onto whatever it's you're attaching to. And if it's at the end, it's the end jaw, which is really great for getting in tight spaces. Maybe it's up against a wall or a ceiling. Whereas the center jaw is in the center of the grip and it allows you to have a little bit more space on the side where you attach the light in case you need a little bit more room over there. So all of these come in different sizes. You can get them, I believe as low as two inches and all the way up to six inches. And that refers to the amount of space space in between the jaw. Regardless of which size you get, both types are really strong and sturdy and they can grab onto round, square, or rectangular stock and many other different types of common and irregular shapes or objects. So now I'm gonna share with you a bunch of different ways that you can rig up your lights using the Mathalini Cardellini Vice Grip. Probably the most used scenario is on a Veripole. Talked about those early in the series. Make sure you check out the series if you haven't watched already. But uh, you can get these really close to the wall or ceiling, super handy. Also, you can attach this to a desk. I do recommend having something to protect the desk so that you don't shred it to death. But this is a really handy and useful solution as well. Now the door frame or a door is actually really neat. It holds really well. Just make sure your door can handle it, but great to get it in unique spaces like this. Then there's also something like the gear cart handle, for instance, that may be more of a mobile option. That's done. Here I have, I'm attaching it to my gear shelf, just to show you the different type of things that you can attach it to. Now, one of my favorites is that you can grab a piece of wood and you can attach the clamp to that and then place it on the floor so that you can get a really low option for your lights in case you need to attach them really close to the floor. So as you can see, a super useful tool. I actually have one right now for my backlight, which is on a Veripole. It's a really great setup and I couldn't recommend the Mathalini Cardellini or Vice Grip enough. So make sure you grab one, link is down below. Also, if you wanna learn more about other rigging things, make sure you're following the series. Go back and watch the videos. There's more coming out. And if you're not already subscribed, you should do that so that you don't miss out on the future episodes. And with that, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.